Hey, everybody in here, just sitting here finishing up my coffee with all of you. Papa's already been out for his walk. Baby chicks are fine. Zoom -a Zoom made it up into the coop last night, so yes. Anyhow, it's already warming up. It was supposed to be cooler today. Uh, I'm still going to try and bust out some of that wood out there. Anyhow, um, I've had uh, two or three people email me asking me if I have a post office box or a mailing address that they, they can send something to me. Um, I no longer have a post office box and I don't give my home address out. Um, there's a few people who have it. Um, but uh, the U.S. post office is horrible in this area. Grandma Nett, Jeanette P., recently sent me a birthday card and it had an Amazon gift card in it. And I think that the people can know if there's like a gift card in a card or whatever. Um, and I'm, I've never received it. So, uh, yeah, don't send me anything via U.S. mail. If it's UPS, it will likely get here. UPS is great. Um, well, the other day I ordered something off of Amazon off my wish list. And the mail carrier, for some reason, it didn't go via UPS. It went U.S. post office. Well, the mail carrier dropped me off a package. I took it. I didn't even look at it. I figured she had it right, right? Well, before I even made it all the way up to the tiny house, uh, she came back and honked. Um, she had delivered me somebody else's package that lives on an entirely different street. So luckily she caught it because if she had delivered my package there, there's no telling if that person would have been honest. Of course, I would have called the post office and said, well, look, this isn't addressed to me. Um, but she did come back and exchange the packages. But that's just one small example. Um, that kind of a mistake should not be made. It's uh, like Post Office 101. You check the actual address. You pay attention to what you're doing. And you give people the right packages. I just don't think the U.S. Post Office has uh, the kind of integrity that it used to. I think that they, um, in the interest of, well, whatever woke ideology they're having. Um, they're hire they're they're not specifically hiring well qualified people. They're just hiring anybody. I don't know. I've had horrible, horrible service from the US post office in Henderson, Tennessee. So if you're out there listening, y'all need to and, and I it's not like I haven't complained. I have called and tried to report stuff but you get put on hold. You don't even get to talk to someone at your own post office. And um, it's just been horrible. So um, yeah, don't ever send me anything via USPS. Use UPS if you have my address. Anyhow, the best way to support this channel or give me warm fuzzies or prezzies or whatever is to, well, a couple different ways. Um, make a PayPal donation. And how you do that is you just go to my main channel page and up in the right hand corner of the screen, there's some links up at the top in my in my banner. Um, one is for donations to PayPal. Click that on. It'll walk you through the rest. I think you have to sign up with an email. I'm not sure. Um, but there's also a link to my Amazon wish list. And um, Amazon stores my address. So if you order something off my wish list, then it'll get to me. And more than likely, most of the time, it come, uh, it's delivered via UPS. And the stuff on my wish list is stuff that I really, really need. Yeah, so those are the ways that you can kind of help uh, this channel and make me smile. Yeah, I got the pony and I've got the hair pulled back because I'm trying not to wear a ball cap as much because look at, look at, I'm starting to go bald up here and all this is breaking off. I bet you dudes that wear hats all the time have the same problem. So, magnificent forehead and I hear thunder in the clouds so I got to get going and chop up some wood.
uh, it's starting to rain and there's been some pretty horrendous claps of thunder. So I'm going to go stack this up in the shed and, uh, I don't know, take a break. My wood pile is growing. Yes, it is. Yep. Oh, and the stuff that I did before is I stacked up all over here. Oh, check this out. Look it. Okay, which one is cedar? Can you figure it out? You know what? That was only a baby girl load in that wagon. So it stopped raining. It's cooling down. I'm going to get some more done. You know what? I just had an idea. An awesome person sent me this. And this wood would make perfect kindling. So let's see if I can get this thing to work. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I still got more. Yeah, I've got all that. You know what? I think I need to fill up another bucket. I got two buckets done and started on the last, and then it started raining. Can you hear it? Yeah, this here little thing, this log splitter, whew, I love it. It makes the perfect kindling. That's going to be great for the rocket stove as well. Okay, so it's raining a little bit. Perfect excuse to go take a break and watch my chickens and see what Papa's doing. I haven't heard anything out of Papa. Oh my gosh, I was dehydrating. <gasps> Green beans! Whatever. <laughs> Just set me back about another day. They've been rained on. There's good boy Papa. Yeah, he's getting out of the rain. Yes. Good boy. Well, the baby chicks don't seem to mind. Of course, they're all covered up. <laughs> If it gets too bad out here, I did put that little thing back there. They can get, just get up underneath there, and there's cardboard against the back, so they're not going to get wet. All right, the torrential downpour has actually let up a little bit. You can see because there's no more shade because I put it over here, but then the whole thing, just the top, just started tearing up um, because that little yard, it could not withstand this kind of rain. The baby chicks, they couldn't figure out how to get up inside the hut so they were all underneath and it was getting wet underneath the there it was pouring down rain everywhere so i had to just come out here and put the stakes up and cut the ties off and just dragged it over there and as i did it i ruined the top of it there's holes all over the freaking place so i am totally drenched I, I just got the baby chicks up into a little box uh, and they didn't want to come i had to basically lift the house up off of them and grab them and bring them in and so I am soaked head to toe. Oh, I hope they're okay. Change your clothes later and the baby chicks are safe. Um, I'm gonna have to redo that whole yard. I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing. They're not going back outside until I have it properly covered. So I'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.